Howdy, Space Rangers, Captain Phoenix here. Finally! Finally! Finally, it's here! Gosh, I've been waiting for so long. Finally! Let's let's watch the Star Wars teaser trailer. Boy, have I been waiting for this. Oh, gosh. We've passed on all we know. Ends and wait starts. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. Was that a trailer in the half? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen it like a thousand times already. So good, guys! I am so hyped for this film. I don't know which planet she's on. It looks to be like I mean, from the first viewing, it could be something like Jakku. But now that I notice like those kind of vaporator things, the one I I, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. We'll always be with you. Those, these va those vaporator things down there, these little sticks, those stick things, yeah. It may be Tatooine then, for all I know. At least, like, now the saga will end where it began. So, I'll, all in all, it is kind of a nice rhyming, poetic thing. Yes, George Lucas, I hear you. But, boy, am I hyped for this film. I mean, Ray being a cool, awesome chick, I mean, that's nothing surprising. People say she's a Mary Sue. I'm just fine with it. In all honesty, I really, um liked the what's this the force awakens the last jedi i'm not gonna lie i liked it better than the force awakens although i did not like most of the elements in that movie but at least you know they were trying something different here i really hope they're giving it their damn best okay this trilogy was mediocre so i hope this film could really save it just like how revenge of the sith saved the prequel trilogy i hope this movie could save the sequel trilogy because they better try their damn hardest best to make this movie as best as awesome as possible i said it's the end of the skywalker saga and i really want to see this saga come to a <laughs> i mean i just love star wars so much it's my it's honestly one of my favorite franchises star wars and the mcu are just up there with me on my favorite franchises and I really hope they do give this a fitting close to the trilogy. Honestly, nothing should stop this from being the best Star Wars movie ever. Yeah, that's right. Like, there's a lot riding on this movie. And if this trilogy is going to be saved, as well as the rest of the Disney Star Wars, this movie has to save it all. And it has to be the damn best Star Wars movie ever. I already promised that I was going to do a video on how Disney Star Wars kind of ruined Star Wars, but at the same time, not really. 
but then when I was recording yesterday my camera went haywire and I just couldn't do it so sorry about that guys but I but this movie is really good let's talk about the trailer itself I really do like um, the aesthetics of the place visually it's really pleasing um, and and at least like there seems to be a well-structured story as much as like we don't know what the story is at least like from what the trailer shows there seems to be an end goal with more of a plan rather than the last Jedi where everything was everywhere but then again it is a teaser trailer so looks can be deceiving what I like is that we have Palpatine's laugh at the end let's not ignore the elephant in the room Palpatine he's just freaking awesome he was one of my favorite he's one of my favorite characters in Star Wars like behind Luke and Vader he's one of he's my favorite character honestly like I hope they don't bring him back to life this is my biggest issue with the movie is that I really hope it doesn't like literally resurrect people from the dead okay that's the reason death is in Star Wars you don't bring people back Maul yeah bring him back like the way you treated his character it was fine you could you could handle Maul well there and he did he still died by Obi-Wan's hand so me I was fine with that Boba Fett I don't know if Boba Fett came back to life but if anything keep Palpatine dead only thing that should come from Palpatine should be in visions holograms and you know flashbacks like keep it simple with Palpatine Luke is a force ghost and I really like the title the rise of Skywalker it's the final movie and you already have like that it just saying rise like Skywalker is rising now this could mean two things for one it could mean like the rise of Skywalker like one specific Skywalker could be rising maybe it's Rey maybe it's Kylo Leia maybe Anakin and Luke are the ones who are rising who knows and on the other hand Skywalker could be used as a town maybe at the end of the movie we could get rid of the towns of Jedi and Sith and in the end we could have a middle party you know, Skywalker. I even mentioned this in my theory video you could check my channel for that one I even mentioned this in my theory video that um, how should I say that at the end goal maybe the end goal Rey and Kylo destroy the Jedi and the Sith and in the end they come up with a new party known as the Skywalkers the Skywalkers will be the middle ground the balance the Skywalker will bring balance to the universe all in all I really do think it could be a cool time and I hope my theory does come to pay off that's my theory for this movie so when the movie comes out remember me if that theory is right that Skywalker will be used as a term and it will be a new order to the galaxy where things are imbalanced it's really hard to explain but I do hope it's a cool term and lots of people do become Skywalkers not by family blood but you know by a symbol as, as a symbol and Leia is back that's cool I mean I know she'll die because CJ Leia isn't enough so yeah you know and um, everything else is just cool man I, I really love everything else in this trailer it looks nice and uh, let's not ignore the second death stuff um, it seems that they could be on Endor although Endor is a forest planet uh, maybe they're the ocean of Endor you know I mean the trees have to get water somehow couldn't just be from all the rain but uh, maybe it's another planet maybe the second death star just like floated um, freely across space and just happened to go on another planet I don't know it seems like it could be an end goal maybe Rey could find something about her past in there she could be a rejected clone of Sidious that could work that could work but then again that's just fan fiction all in all I just hope Kylo is lying to Rey about being a nobody all in all my highest hope for Rey is that she's you know uh, Kenobi that's it Whew, this trailer has really got me pumped for this movie guys I'm not gonna lie I am excited for episode 9 or I guess now that the title is out I am excited for Rise of Skywalker and I hope it is a really really good movie and I hope I just enjoy my time in the cinema anyways that's gonna do it for today's video guys I really hope that you enjoyed it um, I hope you enjoyed my speculation on it I know I didn't specify on everything but I do have some hopes some theories and some questions that need to be answered JJ Abrams, no mystery box this time. This time you gotta answer your own questions. And that'll do it for today. I hope I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're as excited for episode 9 as I am. Without further ado, I will see you in another universe. And may the force be with you.